While I do still use services like Amazon and Google for certain movies, books, and comics, I do like to retain actual ownership of my digital media whenever possible. In that spirit, I run a Plex server in my home network for my collection of movies and music. I started looking into possible changes to my setup for storing and consuming ebooks and comics. I already had a decent amount of DRM free ebooks from many of the Humble Bundles. What I wanted was a system similar to Plex that could catalog, track, and serve out my books so that I could consume them in whatever way I wanted. Mostly from my e-reader, but it is nice to have options from the browser or just to download the file. The most active one I could find was an ebook manager called Caliber. It was open source and seemed to do everything I wanted. In most of the reading I had done, the biggest complaint seemed to be that the web interface was not that great. So another open source project called Caliber Web was started. Both packages also support the OPDS standard, which a lot of e-reading apps use to sync and download ebooks. It was a little unclear if both packages were needed, so let's find out. My home server is currently still on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Luckily, this is still supported by Caliber and they have easy install instructions on their website. Caliber is firstly designed as a desktop app, which I knew may cause some difficulty installing it on a headless system, but it turned out to be an easy process thanks to some documentation I found. Caliber re requires the xgdt-utils, wget, xz-utils, and a version of Python greater than 2.6. I already had a newer version of Python and wget, so I installed the other two using the apt command here. Once you have the prerequisites installed, they give you a simple one-line install command for the Caliber package. There are also options for an isolated install or one for systems without updated CA certificates here. Caliber is normally used as a desktop app that has a server component. Since I was installing this on a headless server, I would not be able to do this setup that way. There is a full command line interface and I found an old guide at DigitalOcean that helps with this process. First thing you need is to have some ebooks. If you do not currently have any, you can download many from Project Gutenberg, which distributes public domain books. We can use the Caliber DB command. It will create a new database and folder structure at the location you specify if one does not already exist. You can add a full directory structure of books with the recurse option shown here. It will add any known file types to your database, and from a basic setup purpose, that is all we need to do. I kept following the steps from the DigitalOcean tutorial and set up a folder that I could copy new books into, and every 15 minutes the system will check and add any books there into the Caliber database. I did this via a cron tab entry, which is shown here. Note that you can also add new books via the web interface, but this is a good way for bulk additions like when you purchase a new bundle of ebooks. Caliber comes with its own web interface. It seems to work well and supports OPDS, but I found it clunky to use and not that nice to look at. It is simple to start with the Caliber server command with the path to your Caliber database shown here. You can also make it run as a service, similarly to what we will do with the Caliber web package coming up later. I had come across the Caliber web project while researching and it looked pretty good to me. It is a fork of the library project which aims to provide a modern web interface to a Caliber database and is Python based. It requires Python 3 and is easy to install. I did not have the Python 3 version of pip, which is a package manager for Python, so I first installed that with the apt command shown here. Then I cloned the Caliber web repository using git. They have a handy file that you can run pip against to install all the prerequisites, shown here. And then you can simply start the Caliber web server with this command. When you first browse to the site, it will ask you for the location of your Caliber database, and then you can log in with the default admin username and password. Now that I have confirmed the system is working, I want it to start automatically as a service slash daemon. My system is using systemd for daemons, so following the instructions at the wiki, 
I created a file called cps.service under slash etc slash systemd slash system with the following in it. Note that for my testing, I left the folder underneath my home folder. It may be wise to move this somewhere more global for a final setup. Once the file is created, you can enable the service with the systemctl command and similarly stop and start it as necessary as shown below. I found the interface of Calibre Web to be smoother than the built-in one that comes with Calibre. At first, finding books through categories and author authors was a bit messy. This seemed to be because the tags it read from the books themselves were either overly complicated or not present at all. I took some time going through my collection and cleaning up the tags. The system can fetch info and color images from online databases, which also helped, although I would still cut down the number of tags because I like simpler, more general categories. A really good feature is the ability to convert your ebooks between a number of different formats. As an example, you can convert from Amazon's Mobi format to EPUB. The conversion leaves the original format intact as well, which helps when you're using different devices and apps to read your books. The system also allows multiple users so you can add other people from your household, share your books, and allow them to upload theirs. Virtual shelves can also be created to organize your collection however you like, and these shelves can be made public to other users in your system. For instance, I have created public shelves for all comic books, my favorite books, and the books I have finished reading. Reading books using this system is pretty easy. From the browser itself, you can read any book in a supported format, and it will keep track of your reading progress. You can also download the file in any of the available formats to be read on your computer or copy over to your reader slash tablet via USB or other means. As I said earlier, I prefer doing my reading on e-ink screens. I spend so much of my time in front of brightly lit screens, so reading on an e-ink screen is definitely more comfortable on my eyes. For my old Kindle, or if you used a Kindle app, Caliber Web supports the Send to Kindle option as long as you have an SMTP mail server set up. This makes it as easy as clicking on the book and then clicking the Send Mobi to Kindle option. The next time you turn on your Kindle, the book will be downloaded. For my new Onyx Books device, I wanted to try out the OPDS support that Caliber Web has. So I started using the Moon Plus Reader app. Inside the app, you simply create a new net library and point it to the address of your Caliber web server with slash OPDS added to the end. You can then browse through all categories and shelves you have created. Select a book you want to read and tap download. The book downloads to your device and you can start reading. In general, to get more books into your collection, they will need to be DRM free, which can be a little more inconvenient, but not too bad. There are a bunch of publishers and authors who have specified that their books should be sold without DRM. If you have a particular store you buy from, do a search to see if they have a DRM free section. Also, the humble book and comic bundles are generally all DRM free. In the description are some links to DRM free sources I have found recently. There are also ways to get your current Kindle collections and other DRM protected books into Calibre, but I will not cover that here. That is basically it for a setup of my new book server. There are some things I still want to tweak and a couple decisions to make. I want to add a certificate and make the service run over SSL so that it is encrypted. And I am trying to decide whether I want to move this setup into my online host so that the collection is available from anywhere. But it is a rare occasion that I am out and need to download a book, so I may just keep it local, like my Plex server. And that is how I set up Caliber slash Caliber Web for ebooks. Once again, thank you very much for watching.